Welcome to 1v1 Tournament 2015 Fall Total Annihilation Escalation. This match we have uh, Filled by Fire and Keeper. Fortunately, you can't see uh, Keeper's name because I have two gruel uh, on my on my top right little Skype icon. Because I'm doing a dual commentary with Terminator. Terminator, say hi. Hello, guys. <laughs> Yeah, so Terminator's here. Yeah, we have expert, um, expert, expert commentator, rather expert commentator. I'm not really that good. We all, we all kowtow to, to Tugrul here. Uh, so Terminator, tell us about Keeper. Well, Keeper, as far as I know, I played Total Annihilation for four years, and I have experienced a lot of games with Keeper, and generally. Keeper is a very smart player. The only problem is he's he isn't quick. But yeah, I don't know. I think he can't compensate that. But uh, yeah, Keeper is a very smart player and it gives him very much advantage in any game team play one versus one. Yeah, I think if Keeper had the speed he would become one of the best total annihilation players of TA escalation. Probably, I mean, you know, once you give him time, he totally just takes advantage of it and uh, builds up all of his uh, all of his bases, and he's able to expand really quickly um, if he if he has time. But uh, and, and if he you know knows where he, where he's able to expand to. But um, last round he was kind of slow. Uh, but that's probably just because he was uh, afraid of all the roaches and all the raiding that Fuel by Fire did in the first match. Um, Fuel by Fire over here in the bottom right, he's playing red. Is uh, he's popped out a couple of scouts and he's got um, he's got a construction vehicle coming out after that. Uh, and he's and he's built uh, an LLT. Something I don't know is totally necessary. I mean, like Terminator. When was the last time Keeper raided you early game? Uh, well, I can't remember because I haven't played one versus one with Keeper, but that light laser tower is very unnecessary. Maybe it's a smart idea because it's hiding, you know, behind the tree. But an early game, yeah, a second. second oh look, he's building the second LT. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this it's commentators are just frowning. Yeah, he's just killing his speed. Uh, Funny so thing is, Keeper hasn't got this. Oh, all right, he has the construction finally. Yeah, he's got mm. Peewees by his maxes. That'll, ah. that'll save him from those uh, those Jeffies we have northeast. Yeah, I didn't notice. Let's see, we got Peewee headed towards mid, and. Uh, FPF is calm walking, and he's building another con. And there's really nothing to stop him from building that second con. I mean, uh, Keeper only has one Peewee outside of his base. <laughs> yeah, he can do nothing with that Peewee. Only Scout, Scout, uh, Keeper's commander. So he's he has the advantage advantage of knowing he's you know walking the commander. But yeah, I, I think that Keeper's going to lose his Peewee because FBF is uh, forcing Keeper to micro in the northwest. And just yeah. like I said... Uh, yeah, it's dead. Yeah, so FBF is going to have a lot of freedom to expand right now. It's like he's already taken that freedom, expanding northeast with uh, one construction vehicle building mexes. And back up northwest we have uh, these Jeffies that are just getting eaten up by these Peewees. Not a single mex, not a single mex killed. Um, and he, he pushed back the other Jeffy with uh, Pee Wee's assisting that one con in the bottom left of his base. Yeah, nice defense of Keeper. Um, Alright, he should really use his second construction. Ah, he's using it, alright. Um, I think he's sending it up, uh, up north to get that max, or maybe reclaim and build I multi. guess he will. With a light laser tower. Yeah, really bad decision though. 
<laughs> Why are they? They built yeah. so many LLTs. Last game I counted, uh, actually not the last game, but the first game I counted the LLTs on Kappa. And yeah, Keeper had six. Guess how many? Um, how many LLTs FBF had around like twelve minutes in? Keeper has Five. six. Six. FBF had eleven. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, like what's, what's the point? What are you defending from? And uh, and later in the game when Keeper rushed uh, some you know some Tech One units, yeah. um, they were able to get past all the LLT. So, Seriously. yeah, there's just, I don't know, too many players, these these players like to build LTs, and I guess you can't, can't, you know, rag on them too much, but they'd well, certainly slow the game down, make it less exciting for us. Yeah, but that's right, it's slowing the game down, but if we watch the uh, previous game on Comet Catcher, yeah, FPF didn't build any light laser tower. World game, I yeah. guess. I mean, I think yeah. the last game he could have built more heavy laser towers in the west. You know, when he had that con out there for a long time, he could have got a light, uh, a heavy laser tower out there. And, yeah, uh, the construction was idling for a very long time. Yeah, it's it's not really quite pro, uh, <laughs> pro scale at that point when you have cons idling for forever. <laughs> really critical strategic positions. Yeah, I think. If you build constructions, you have to use it and never let it idle. I mean, that, that's one school of thought. You know, there's, there's the other one, you know, uh, if you if you watch some of Woody's videos, he uh, says in his commentary that uh, it's, you know, sometimes it's okay to let a con idle. If there's <laughs> something uh, special to do, uh, alright, I can understand, but most of the time you have to use your constructions. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, it, it's just really when you want to pivot, um, and you want to move from one building to another building. Uh, that's that's when it that's when it comes into play. Yeah, it's maybe because the player is very busy with uh, microing his units. Um, ah, keeper has a geometrical uh, geothermal power plant. Yeah, this geothermal is really gonna you know give him a lot of benefits in this game. Um, I mean, FEF doesn't have that. Keeper doesn't have to worry about energy right now, so we can start pumping out those Rockos. I think he's going to get a large force of Rockos and do the whole, you know, boogalizer yeah. strafe with the uh, Rocko spam. Um, Peewees are coming in from the southwest corner, and they're going to totally catch this uh, this FBF con off guard in the south center. Yep. Well, Keeper could build an um, energy storm because he's pilling very much on energy very much I yeah mean, yeah it's wasting but I would never make a geothermal so early it's yeah for me it's pretty early but yeah if keeping like so there All we right. go that one con just went down and uh, those yeah. kiwis are heading closer to that base there's two LTs though at that main so there's not going to be any, any issue there uh, looks like there's pretty much LLTs all over the place, but if Keeper is able to spread this uh, this Pee Wee squad out, he'll be able to take out as many mexes as he can. Looks like there's, I want to say, there's five mexes that he can take out with those Pee Wees. Wouldn't you say so, Termi? Well, I guess he's doing something very good. I thought he would protect the bottom yeah, part. I thought he would there were light laser towers, but he did very nice micro by killing two constructs. Yeah, he very, very huge, good. Yeah, huge advantage. Huge. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before FBF starts rebuilding that south because he just lost two cons. And yeah. uh, if I were if I were him, I would change start from you know change from building flashes to building more cons because uh, those two cons is, is a big setback. Yep. 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 And one more thing, he should add uh, a radar in the bottom of the base. He didn't have a radar. Yeah, he, he to that attack ca ca caught him off totally off guard because of that. If I look at Keeper's base, he has enough radars, you know, in the middle, in the south, in the east. 
Oh. He definitely has a better picture of the field right now. Yep. So we got some Rocco's Bam versus uh, Flashes. And these, these Rocco is probably going to be able to take out those LLTs. Um, he's going to send the Flashes back, but the Rocco's will be able to take out the LLTs until the Flashes get there. We got one down. One. And take that other one. Come on, come on. Focus fire on the LLT. The wreckage are, are blocking his buildings. Uh, he's got he's to fall back a little bit. Is that LLT still hitting him? The LLT's on uh, 25%, 10%. It's down. Good job. Meanwhile, back at uh, FBF's Jump, base, he's, he started building more uh, more cons, and that con is killing those Rockos, just degutting those Rockos. You should pull it back. Pull back. Keeper, Keeper got a little too zealous right there. He needs to stop attacking. Maybe you not. He's Rocco is back and regroup to a bigger army. But yeah. yeah, the Rockos work a lot better when they're you know in a group. Let's check out uh, Field by Fire's health. Looks like he's at 65%. Uh, and those Rockos just keep pressuring. I think you won't kill his commander and waste a lot of Rockos there. He's probably gonna kill the count. Look, look, at, look at the bigger picture here, we see a lot more rockets coming in from the uh, Keeper's base. Keeper's just producing these things in mass. He's excessing metal. He's 32.9 uh, income, and he just keeps accessing metal. You should really go T2 or make a metal storage. Right, well, so what do you think? Do you think he's going to be able to take out uh, take out FBF's comm right here with all those rockets? I don't think so. If I were FBF, I would make an HLT with this construct. That's probably a good idea. Keeper's got to realize that he's accessing right now. Yeah. Which is totally irresponsible. He's got idle cons yeah. all over the place. Resource generator. I guess it's unnecessary to build something like that now. <laughs> Why build a resource generator when you're accessing resources? Yeah. I would make a metal storage. Or we'll make. Or another um, factory. Yeah, of course. I, I would go tech 2 right now. Yeah, to be honest. It looks like he's doing that. I see. And yeah, he's doing that. He's got um, tech 2 KBOT lab going up in uh, ah, Northwest I Med. I see. Wait. He's cancelling? What? He's cancelling? Oh, he's yeah. just moving away from it. Is he moving, making one closer to his con? Miss click. Hmm. Okay, so these Rocco's just totally pressuring this con space right here. Ah, he's going to build an HLT. Oh, this is this is a very smart move. Definitely. Building, it doesn't even have to build that HLT too, because just seeing that, FBF sees that, he's going to have to move his comm up there because he knows nothing else is going to be able to take it out. Yeah. Okay, LLT, not the best move. This is going to be a very short game. <laughs> that's, uh, I guess that's just how it's going to be. Okay. LLT's up finally. Keeper's got to start moving. I don't think Keeper should take out that lab, but he does anyways. Alright, he's taking out more of this stuff. The LT's gonna go down. The comm's gonna start moving up. <laughs> Let's take a look at his health again. He's full he's he's fully healed. Where is he going? All the wreckage. All the wreckage is making these Rockos useless. Yeah. He's gotta move his Rockos back a little bit. Or use Peewees. What's his health? His health is at 50% now. Alright. Okay. Okay. It's over. It's yeah, over. It's over. over. Good game. <laughs> Wait. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Maybe not. Nope. Maybe not. Uh? <laughs> the Rockers are gonna get him. There oh, we go. Dude. That's GG. Last oh, second. Alright, so looks like Keeper just won that won that match, man.
Congrats. It's 2-0. Congratulations, Keeper. He moves up to round.